What's up, blokes? Yeah, it's Crocodile Buzz. So, I just did the electrical video with Jesse our day, and I um, I read some of the comments. I, I see uh, a few of you guys have some questions here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start off with uh, Legit Thurl. You asked me if I can do a video explaining current and voltage and stuff like that, resistors and heat, and you need to enable for school. And you you said, uh, isn't the current how many electros, elect, electrons pass through the wire, and the voltage is how fit it pushes it? I don't really understand. Yeah, you pretty much you're pretty much right there. Current is basically exactly what you said. How how many electrons pass through the wire, and yeah, the voltage is how fast it pushes it, and how much how powerful the, the push is, the force. Your voltage is kind of like yeah, your force. Um, and you need you want to know about resistors. Resistor is basically the resistance is basically the opposite of current. You have a higher current, you have a smaller resistance. You have a bit higher resistance, you have a smaller current. Well, when you, um, I'm sure you're, you're probably be a freshman or a sophomore now in high school. In a, you might be, I guess, at a tech school. I think by now you would, you they should be, you should be learning about resistors and uh, learning about the certain types of bands on there. Um, I know, I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head uh, what how to. Measure those resistance, like the internal resistance, and what those bands, what color of bands represent. I gotta brush up my studying for that. But um, yeah, to answer your question, yeah, that's that's voltage and current, basically in a nutshell for you. Um, heat, heat is basically is wattage. You know how you have a light bulb and it says it's a sixty watt bulb. That's how much heat it's, it's produced now. It's heat's measured in units called watts. And if you want to find watts. You and you say you have you have your variables there. You have you have four main variables. You have your voltage, your current, your resistance, and your power. Now, your power is the same thing as watts. You want to find power. What you would do? Say you have, and this is basically Ohm's law. I'm sure you have learned about this too. Ohm's law. Um, it's basically trying to find you know if you say you have one variable. You say you have your current. And you have voltage, and you're trying to find resistance. Well, it's basically it's just you, you got you have two variables to work with. You got to look in your hit. I'm sure you got a handbook in there. You got to look in your handbook, your hand, your manual, and figure out okay, if I have current, if I have this amount, of, this amount of voltage and this amount of current, how would I find a resistance? Well, just look on the. It should show you on your handbook there the formula to find it. I'll tell you in a nutshell. If you have if you have Voltage and you have current, and you want to find resistance. Divide the voltage measured, and which is the variable E, by current, which is measurable. Which is the uh, the variable I. E divided by I equals R. Um, now if you now say you want to find your voltage, and you have watts, and you have current. So what you do, you would say P or E equals P, but which is your watts, divided by I to find your, uh, to find your current. Because that, because if you want to find power, your watts, you will multiply your voltage times your current. E times I equals P. Um, and if you, let's see. And if you say, let's say you have, uh, let's say you have, You have voltage. Yeah, look, look who's coming to say hi. My little, okay, my little, my little pet here, peanut butter. <laughs> What's that peanut butter? Uh, let's say if you have, you have current, and you have power. Same thing. You would divide your power by your current to find your voltage. P divided by I equals E. Um. And heat, like I think I just explained this to you. Um, you know, your heat is your watts. Just you know, if you put your hand by a light bulb, you can feel the heat coming off of it. That's how much you know. It's like it's, you, know, you know, if you go, you go to like a bigger size bulb, like say you go to like a two hundred fifty watt bulb or something like that, you'll see these in like industrial places. You have to keep your hand like a little bit farther away because it's it's, a, it's really hot. Well, the bulb is given is producing that much watt that much wattage in that uh, bulb, which is causing that much heat to come off. 
Now, I know um, I worked at a power plant before, and they had, um, I know they had like a thousand, like a thousand megawatt generators. It's basically telling you that, that that's how much power and that's how much heat them things are producing. So, I'm, sh I'm sure when you learn a little more, you'll get into generators and you'll get into uh, motors. Uh, that will help you out along the way. Uh, I think, I think when you got, I think there's one more question here. Let me look here. Um, okay. I can't find it. I just got to scroll through here. I remember, oh, I remember now. Okay, here it is. I, let's see. <laughs> All right, how many? New age stated, how a buzz, how many conductors can you put on a 12 volt battery? A 12 volt battery? I don't even know if you, uh, you would use a 12 volt battery in like a car or something like that, wouldn't you? Um, I think you can put, I really don't know the answer to this question, to tell you the truth. Conductions? Oh, what the hell is a conduction? I never, I never heard of a conduction before. I heard of a conduction, con, conduction, but not a conduction. <laughs> I really can't, I really don't know if I can answer your question, New Age Day. I, I know, I know, uh, I hate to tell you I can't answer, but I really don't know the answer to your question there. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to ask me. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't know, there's gotta be someone else asking me trying to ask me another logical question here. Oh, here's Doug. Here's Doug, everybody. Say hi to the camera, Doug. See you again, guys. Doug's getting big. He's getting very big. And expect some videos that with Doug uh, pretty soon here. Here and out. I also I, I haven't had a chance to see uh, Jesse's new puppies. I knew he put a video about him having new uh, puppies. So, uh, well, I guess it's all. I guess it's all comments. That uh, that just the one guy. Uh, Legit thorough, yeah. I guess you're pretty much the one had a legit question, so uh, yeah, that's all I got. You know, I, I pretty much I pretty much just explained it all in a nutshell about current, resistance, voltage, and uh, power. So you know, it's, you they'll you'll they'll give you a handbook, I'm sure, in your class, and they'll they'll if you had a question, watch this video like what, if, what I explained to you and. Uh, Ask your teacher. He'll tell you. How, he'll tell you how to find a find the current, find the uh, finally, you know, the uh, other variables. Um, looks and shits. That's all I got for you guys. Crocodile, us out.